Hi everyone, it's Leanne. How are you going all? Right, I've just come back to show you um, a mannequin that I'm working on at the moment. Boy, that light is terrible. Um, now this one, my husband bought me this paper mache one, um, but he broke the bus line. So I've had to repair it. I just put some tissue paper underneath and some brown paper bag stuff over the top and some also some um, paper scot tails. Um, so you can see that it's not too bad. It's not too um, bad now. Um, I don't think it'll matter once it's all fully covered. Anyway, what we're doing is we're painting it with the chalk paint. Uh, this is a white chalk paint. Um, and all you do is you paint it all over. You might need a couple of coats. You might only need one. I'm not sure yet. I haven't painted um, a paper mache. Well, I have. I've done a Humpty Dumpty. But I haven't seen if this, this is the colour underneath. So I want it to look really well coated and smooth as much as you can. Now when I fix that you sh I should have used a um, nail file on it or something like that or a little file. Um, I do have some little files um, and just sanded it off but it looked alright. I, I, I thought I'd paint it first and see what it looked like painted and it looks good. So I, I didn't sand it at all. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Oh boy, um, that's another story, isn't it? Um, I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to see how to decorate it. You know, I have seen some that are pin cushions. I have seen some that are um, just have paper mache on them. I have seen some with elaborate dresses on them, dressed up, you know, really nice Victorian type lace and things like that. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe you've got a suggestion. <laughs> I'll try it. If you, if you suggest something, I might try it. <laughs> um, I don't know how successful I'm going to be. I'll just try that off. So I can handle it better. There we go. I just wanted it dry enough to turn over. It's still a little bit sticky because the weather here is a bit wet and it's moist in the air and um, cold here in Sydney. It's not that cold, but it, it is cold enough. Right. Now the election's almost over, isn't it, Australia? Um, Malcolm Turnbull, it looks like he's been uh, put back into power with the help of some of those crossbenchers, which is annoying. Um, of course, he's done a terrible job. Whether you're Labour or Liberal or not, he's squandered his good will and he... Um, had not, uh, what do you call it, uh, got on the trail 
and went out and met people. He just stood in his home. He knocked off at 12 midday every day, they reckon, the media was saying. And he didn't care about Western Sydney, I'd say. Um, because he's not after those seats, really. He tried. He, um, I don't think he cared. But anyway, I think he thought he would have got in with a thumping majority. But it scared him, I know that, because now let's just see how Parliament resumes because no one knows whether or not the Senate's going to work. Right, there we go, let's just see the front again, I think it will need two coats, this is a real chalky paint, it's very white bright chalky paint, um, And anyway, getting back to the election, uh, I have Foxtel, so I watch Sky News. Now, Sky News is very biased, of course, they're very liberal. Um, and don't t tell me they're not, of course they are. But what they do is have a fair um, acceptance of. Uh, Labor and Liberal on their shows, and that's good. That's why I watch it for the uh, both sides. Anyway, um, so the election is over, but you know, some people are saying we'll be back electing another Prime Minister in about a year's time. Well, we'll wait and see about that. <laughs> oh my God, if that was true, you'd rip your hair out, wouldn't you? Anyway. So we're here in Sydney, Australia, and it's not a very good day. It's raining. Um, all the doggies are inside, which irritates me. I like to, they don't like to go out in that rain. I don't know why, but um, They're um, sitting in their beds at the moment, just outside. They were in here. I have beds all over the house. Um, I'm living in this big three-bedroom house, and there is so much room. Um, I don't have any furniture because I am moving again. Um, our I just put a deposit on our retirement house to be built.
Right. It's not too bad. We can turn it over. We can do the back one more time. Right. As I said, I just put a deposit on uh, a retirement house for us to retire to. Um, we have some. Oh, we have some property at Lithgow. Now Lithgow is west of the mountains. It's the first country location after the Blue Mountains. Um, many, many years ago we used to live there, a long time ago, probably 35, 36 years ago. And um, two of our children were born there. One was born here where we are living in Sydney and the other two were born in Lithgow. Now um, our kids hate the country because my husband spent most of his life in the country. He's a country boy um, and I absolutely love the country. Anyway, we're getting one of those houses built that's um, transportable. Uh, it's only a small house, it's only about seven squares, but um, we put a deposit on yesterday. So we're going to fully retire soon. she goes. Now the only thing I haven't done, it's a little bit still wet, but I can maneuver it around a bit, is the bottom. Um, I like to paint everything thoroughly um, because you know sometimes people look at your work, they turn it upside down and you haven't painted the bottom, they go, ooh, she's a lazy crafter. <laughs> um, but I have heard people say that don't like the way you finish that off, you haven't fully finished it. But I am that sort of person, I like to try and finish things off. Right, I'll just blow away with that. There we go, and there it is. Anyway, um, she's going good at the moment. Now I'm going to check up on some things, um, what to do with her. I haven't made up my mind completely what to do with her. Maybe you can tell me. Um, nothing too elaborate. <laughs> um, I've never done one before. But boy, I'm really enjoying this. I don't mind painting, love painting actually, I'm used to it. My husband and I use DIY on all our houses and boy, a lot of work. Anyway, I'll just stick that chalk paint lid back on. Um, there we go. Now I'll let that fully dry and um, I'll get back to you very soon about what I'm going to do. So bye for now. See you later.